You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's WWE main event after show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's WWE main event after show. Oh, yeah. It has been an awesome three days here at AfterBuzz TV. We should go home. <laughs> well, no, we're just going to stay here. All right. <laughs> okay. We got lots of wrestling to come up. So, hi, everybody. Welcome to the main event here on AfterBuzz TV. I'm Tom the Com Connolly. Sitting across from me, Gabby Loren. How are you doing, Gabby? I'm doing amazing this week because mm. we got to go to Raw on Monday night. Yes. It was awesome. Yeah. That's why we started with the Miz theme, because it was awesome. <laughs> and sitting next to her, Scott Narver. How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing well. We haven't slept in three days. <laughs> I, I think this is a terrible <laughs> idea. We didn't set up any tents in here. Listen, we're practicing for when the network launches. Then we're never going to sleep oh, ever that's again. That's right. Uh, but when we went to Raw on Monday, the Wyatts came out at the very end. And out of nowhere, Bray just pointed to Marquia, and she just followed him out of the arena and we haven't seen her since you're so right i, I forgot about that i, I don't <laughs> i had nothing to do with it <laughs> you know what i was so wrapped up with us actually hanging out with wwe's josh matthews yeah, that, that i forgot that marquia <laughs> went missing yeah we haven't seen her we haven't heard wow. from her gabby stop yeah. it i had nothing to do with it <laughs> Well, are you sure you, well, you didn't tell Bray to, like, pull another move? Yeah. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> you were a little upset about your kidnapping? Yeah, yeah and his, but that's unrelated. <laughs> well, Marquia, we hope you're you're safe out there, and we hope you we hear from you. Like, text us, tweet us, you know, call us. Enjoy those crickets. Us, do Hopefully whatever. there's Wi-Fi. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's really yeah. good Wi-Fi, but <laughs> yeah. enjoy those crickets, Marquia. <laughs> what was the password? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, gotcha. Not yes, yes, yes? No, no. it's it's Luke Harper's okay. password. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, we did go to Raw on Monday. Uh, I just want to thank Maria, Kevin, everyone here at AfterBuzz, Phil and Pat. Uh, we had amazing seats. I will never be able to go to another WB event, and I'll always, I'm always i going to be let down every time. Time's out. So. Time's out. <laughs> but I will See still go up. ever again. But oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still going to go, but they were amazing seats. It was an awesome show on Raw. Uh, we'll get we'll talk about that at the end, more about it, but let's get into, but let me just get quick thoughts. What do you, what'd you guys think of Raw? Of Raw? Mon yeah, of being there Oh alive. my god, I had so much fun. I mean, it's awesome watching it on TV, and I've always said that WWE knows how to edit and produce their stuff, but being there with the live action and we're in the second row was incredible, and I'm with you. I don't know if I could ever go again unless I got like, <laughs> VIP seating. It was literally like being at a basketball game and having that like courtside court yeah. seat. Yeah. So cool. It was awesome. Yeah. What do you think, Scott? Oh, it was a blast. Mm -hmm. and there's nothing more fun than going to wrestling live, and then when you're that close and anything can happen, you know, the moment of Roman Reigns spearing Mark Henry in front of you yeah. and hearing the sounds and seeing it, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's good to be sitting in this seat. <laughs> it was. It was it was an amazing time. But let's get to main event for the night. Uh, me and Scott were actually at main event last night for the taping, so that was fun. Boys net out. <laughs> it was awesome. It was a good time. Uh, it was from Ontario, California. Uh, the commentators now, Tom Phillips is still there, but now we got Byron Saxon moving up from uh, NXT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what did you call them? Vanilla and Vanilla. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I missed Alex Riley and The Miz this week. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys missed them at all. On commentary. I do now. I do, yeah. <laughs> I did. I mean, as you, it was kind of hinted at, like, yeah, they have great radio voices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's shocking that WWE is able to produce people that are so talented mm -hmm. with their wrestling in the ring, and they can also sound like they've been working for ESPN for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. It's nuts. But yep. I like characters on commentary. Exactly. One That's of them has true. to have some kind of, a little bit of personality. Yeah. And not both be very... 
Bland. I like I, William Regal. I like them, but Let's yes, exactly. Regal. Let's yeah. have somebody's, you know, mm. some some panache. You know, Let's I think have Byron, bad news. Barrett, give him some bad news on <laughs> commentary. I think Byron does. He does wrestle. I don't know if he has an NXT, but I know he did before. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, I think that you know, I think it's like all wrestlers. Like they just need to turn it up a little bit in terms mm-hmm. of volume, and you know, be a little more energetic. Exactly. Yeah. Be a little more outgoing. flamboyant. Get us yeah. excited. You know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I mean, hey, it's the first week with them. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they they sure. grow on us after a while. Because when Alex Riley was there, I was like, I don't know, Alex Riley. Some interesting stories here. And yeah, there. yeah. So he's officially not on main event anymore. I don't know. We, I guess we'll see. It's a revolving yeah. door. Yeah, yeah. That that Zeb Coulter could walk through. Exactly. That'd be fun. Huh? That would be fun. That would be fun. Huh? Maybe Paul Heyman comes back to the booth. That'd hey, what awesome. about on the WWE app? Every week we vote for who we want on color commentary. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. That'd be fun. That would be fun. Get people enticed to watch main events. Mm-hmm. Yes, and SmackDown and Raw. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I guess Raw will probably stay put. They'll, they'll probably do all right regardless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, the first match of the night: uh, the Wyatts versus uh, Los Matadores and Sin Cara. Uh, when we arrived last night, we just <laughs> <laughs> we barely made it in time. And uh, say the real story. <laughs> no, I'm not saying her story. I'll say the real story. Okay, you said. I real think story. it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> okay, we walk into the arena, um, and. Uh, we hear the Lost Matadores music, uh-huh. and we go, Paul, this is fine. We'll just go to the bathroom <laughs> yeah. right now. We're not missing anything. We're all in the bathroom at our uh, respective urinals. Yeah. And then the Wyatt's music hits. And we were like, and we're crap. Like, oh, no. <laughs> we're in a terrible situation right now. We're, we're not going to miss the Wyatt's. So uh, we uh, rushed you know, out of there as fast as we yeah. could. And we washed we our hands. Yeah, yeah, we did, yeah. We so. washed our hands. Wait, yeah. I have to ask you guys a question. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Why would you think that the first match would be bad? But You know, because it's always the first and the last match are the best, usually. Well, we just weren't expecting it to be the Wyatts. We, we didn't know who they were fighting, so. I mean, to open up the show, it has to be entertaining. Yeah. It does have to mm-hmm. be entertaining, Poor choice, but, poor choice. Mm. Well, well, But we well. saw the match, though. We made it out there. Yeah, yeah you ran out. <laughs> yeah. You didn't even wash your hands. We this, ran out, kicked people washed, out of our seats because they were taking our, our seats. That's true. <laughs> people were in our seats, really? so we had to kick mm-hmm. them out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, that's Squatters. the problem. <laughs> when you're not in the second row, you deal with those types of issues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay, though. We had we had, did have good seats for the show, though. No, we split I apart them. a family. <laughs> that was kind of sad. Did I, you? I felt good about it. I felt good about it. Well, they must have bought their tickets too late. Yeah, I think they were just kind of scattered all over, so <laughs> they all just decided to sit in our doing row. That, doing that thing of like, oh, oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, these aren't our seats? Oh, yeah. that's right. It does say a bunch of different letters on our seats and different numbers. Oh, that's strange. Oh, Wait, we're we in section 300, not 100? Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> So Classic. bizarre. I guess yeah. we'll move. Yeah. So yeah. after we kicked them out, we sat down. We watched the match. Mm-hmm. The crowd was really into the, I mean, even you could. You, it came across on TV well, but being there live, they were really into this match more than I thought they were going to be. Like especially uh, Los Matadores and Sin Cara, like they were fully behind them this whole match, which I thought was good. It was good to start the crowd off, you know, with a hot match like this. Uh, but yeah, Rowan was basically in control of I'm not one of the Matadors at the beginning of the match. <laughs> Uh, Harper ended up hitting uh, a big boot. I didn't guess right this time. I guessed right later in the match because it's hard to tell which one is which. They need to. Can they maybe wear different colors? Like one wear red, one wear blue. It'd be very confusing, right? Mm. <laughs> that'd, be, mm. that'd be confusing. <laughs> I don't think it would be confusing. It's very confusing. Uh, but yeah. Jimmy and Jay Uso, Diego and Fernando. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't tell the difference. Mm. I can't. I can't root for individuals. I have to like them equally. Gotcha. So you like the Matadors equally, mm-hmm. and and the Usos equally. Yeah, I yeah. like the Usos more than I like the. <laughs> yeah. There's no I in team. <laughs> there is if you look hard enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there is. You're right, actually. There's a secret to that. Uh, but yeah, Sin Cara uh, did a springboard off the top rope. Uh, Luke Harper hit him with the big boot right to the face. Uh, the Wyatts were in control for the majority of the match. Then. Uh, El, uh, De- Diego hit a flip off the top rope for two. Then El Torito, you know, mine not really just doing whatever he wants, just jumps up on the apron. Should have been disqualification. It should have been. I don't understand that. Are you that. okay with that, Gabby? El Torito got in the match, and you're all about the no jumping in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you mean? Just... You mean, like, with distractions? No, like when oh. he jumped on the top rope and then jumped off on the Luke Harper. What's Luke wrong Harper? with that? He's not, He's not in, in the, the match. match. I mean... 
That happened more than once tonight with not just their match, though. Mm. With other matches that happened as well. But it happened the last one. there. Yeah. It happened in that match. Mm. Oh, Torito I got mean, involved. I mean, I'm okay with it because, you know, <laughs> they didn't have a weak link where they were distracted and then someone lost right then and there. Because that's, you know, it's the entertainment factor, and I was all about it. And I, El Torito brings a nice element to the Matadores. A miniature bull <laughs> is on the loose attacking the Wyatts, and you're okay with yes. it. Listen, I love the Wyatts. They kept their strength through the entire match, so they I did. Wasn't disappointed. Yeah, so El Torito, but he gets caught by Luke Harper and just gets tossed to the side like a rag doll. <laughs> yeah. Because Luke Harper is yep. a giant compared, like super giant compared to. El and Torito's going to need a few more Los Toritos <laughs> in order to be enough to win a match. Yeah, and then Fernando hit a big splash off the top rope onto Harper on the outside. Uh, then Bray started to eye up. El Torito on the outside was going to attack him. Sin Cara jumped in the way. Uh, but then Rowan... And, and Rowan, landed. Yeah, landed. on the floor. This yep. New Sin Cara. Yes. Everything was fine. Uh -huh. He landed. He didn't fall on his face. <laughs> nothing like that. But uh, Rowan ended up pulling him back into the ring. Bray ended up getting uh, getting the tag, the blind tag, which Sin Cara didn't see. And, and uh, Bray ended up hitting the, hitting the sister Abigail on Sin Cara for the win. Good win for the Wyatts, mm -hmm. building them up for the Shield at Elimination Chamber. I'm pumped for that match. Yeah, it's going to be good. So what would you guys give a star rating for this match? I'm going to give it a um, 4.5. I thought it was really, it was a great opening match. Um, I liked the pairings of having seen Cara with the Los Matadores. Um, I just want to point out some things that I liked in this match mm -hmm. specifically. I thought it was really cool when one of the Matadores pretty much slide, uh, slid in between Luke's leg um, to get the other guy tagged in, which oh, was Sankara. Mm -hmm. That was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I like those slick kind of cheap moves because mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just fun. Um, Eric was a monster in the ring. He pretty much gave no mercy. I love his facial expressions. He's so serious when he wrestles, and I love anyone who stays true to their character. Um, Sin Cara did a handspring into the rope and rebounded back towards Luke to knock him out, mm. and I thought that was really cool. He's very into the gymnastics, <laughs> you yeah. know, when he wrestles, so that was awesome. And um, when Bray body slammed Sin Cara into the post, he tumbled out of it. He tumbled out of the ring. Oh, so it okay. was like a pretty hard hit, and mm. I thought that was like a standout moment. Um, and Luke wound up bleeding. We forgot yeah. to mention mm -hmm. that, right? But where was he bleeding? His mouth? No, wasn't was it? His um. It was like in his the nose. Like, yeah, corner. Of his oh, nose. oh, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, he had like some blood mm. coming out. Um, From El Torito. That's what happens. The first one yeah, of the night. That yeah, that interference will uh, <laughs> cause some mischief, you know. Um, and I was really impressed with Diego's core strength. He was literally balancing on the ropes, doing handstands mm. for a few seconds, and then he'd come back down and kick the opponent. So I don't know. I was really impressed with some of the technique that was going on tonight. Gotcha. Yeah. What do you think, Scott? I thought it was a fun clash of styles. It was great to see. It was fast paced. It was brutal. Um, Seeing it at Raw, seeing the Wyatts live is amazing. Mm -hmm. To see that that up close, like Bray's obviously without question incredible. I'm really drawn to Luke Harper. Like there's a lot going on. Yeah. When watching him, all the things he does, Bray makes it more apparent. Luke is more subtle, mm -hmm. and I'm just captivated by that guy. He's he's so much fun to watch. Mm -hmm. This match was great, um, except for that interference by El Torito. <laughs> that really. Really affected it because that's just underhanded and dirty tactics. Should have been disqualification. Should have been a disqualification. The Wyatts would have won still. So yeah, I mean they don't come out with some little creature. You but know? how many yeah. times do they do that? It's like so standard. I feel mm. like in the matches. Did you guys notice how El Torito kind of walked the rope a little and then jumped off without mm -hmm. touching anything? Mm -hmm. That was impressive. It was totally circus. Yeah, I mean <laughs> totally circus. I mean, he's definitely, you know, the luchador style. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that's a, that takes a lot of practice to get that down because you make one little slip and you're just going to fall right through the ropes. Or you miss the ropes. Luke, Luke Harper won't be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I gave it 666. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it a 3.75. Good opening match to main event. 
Uh, I thought I thought all the matches tonight were really good matches on main event. For the, the last couple weeks, have been kind of so-so. Some hit and misses. Yeah, um, I thought this one. I thought this week was a really overall solid show. Uh, but yeah, I really like Luke, Luke Harper. When I don't, I don't know. I don't think they're gonna break up for a while. The Whites, but they Never. shouldn't let them Never. let them run for a long time. Forever. Yeah. Because they can just do so many different things and just, let's just have a core group. I mean, the Shield has lasted over a year. <gasps> so, like, let's let, let's let these groups kind of stay together. Yeah. I just had a genius story idea. Okay. Wait, do, we, do you want to say this out loud or no? Why? Is it bad if I predict something? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, they may take it. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't work for them. Maybe one okay. day. Gotcha. I think it would be so awesome if into the storyline of the Wyatts they brought in girlfriends that were like redneck girls. To be divas, they don't have any redneck divas. No, not at the moment. Not now. No. That would mm -hmm. be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That would be. And they like they have pretty much like wives, almost. Uh, like Duck Dynasty. That? Yeah, Duck Dynasty. That's the show <laughs> I was thinking of. It's like Duck Dynasty and their girls. Except their girls are not that hideous. They need to get these like redneck down and dirty girls, you know. Yeah. That are not your typical mm -hmm. diva glam mm -hmm. type. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, I could see them yeah. definitely bringing some kind of. Adding some kind of diva, like girl, to the group, like be it sister Abigail, like have her yeah, call her that, that's yes, or something. Sister. That's yeah. a lovely sentiment coming up on Valentine's Day, Gabby. <laughs> that you're thinking of the Wyatts and yeah. having them not be alone. Yeah. You know what, that would be the perfect time for them to come out with girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> Write it in. All right. Yeah, Luke Harper and her going on a double date. <laughs> yeah. Fighting over the girls, you know. <laughs> I want the tall one. Be fun. I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so at the end, uh, Bray, you know, does follow the buzzards, and then we get we see the next uh, in induction into the WWE Hall of Fame for this year, and it's Lita, one of the you know I say got to be top two divas of all times. So, you know, her and Trish, right up there. Oh, okay. At least you think somebody different. I have different favorites. Yes. Oh, okay. What, but he, I mean, Victoria has been my longtime favorite. She is very good too. Victoria is yeah. amazing. Yeah. I think they need to get another girl cur currently on the roster that's like Alita. Yeah. I want to see a girl wrestle the men. Mm -hmm. I want to see it because some of the moves that this girl is bringing out and who she was fighting against was insane just in that recap. Yeah. I mean, she's. I don't know. I, I mean, she definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, she's, you know, has an awesome career, Can is an awesome wrestler. Mm -hmm. You know, no I, was, I was saying in the screening room, like, you know, her and Trish headline, the main event at a, a Monday Night Raw. Mm -hmm. Wait, I, when's the last time you saw a Divas match headline a Monday Night Raw? I can't, I think that may be the only one. Probably, yeah. yeah I can't I think mean, of maybe a one. mixed tag, but never, like, just two Divas. Yeah, a mixed tag, yeah. definitely, but, yeah, mm -hmm. nothing else. Yeah, so, I mean, she definitely deserves it, you know, along with the Ultimate Warrior, Jake the Snake. Although the speech, the fun speech factor goes down. This one's nice and sentimental, rather than, oh, what are they going to say? Yeah. Mm. What are they going to say? Something crazy <laughs> is going to happen. So that would be a nice, sweet moment. You Change never know. Pace. She may say something crazy. She you, may fly we, off the handle. We never know. <laughs> hey, AJ. Who, hey, yeah, punk. Who's gonna, yeah, who's going to induct here. her into the Hall of Fame? Well, not those two. No, no. I mean, I think if... if Maybe this time last year it may have been AJ, but maybe not no, now. No, no, no. Not anymore. So yeah, maybe it'll be Trish. I think that would. I think that would be nice if that it makes was sense. Trish. Maybe be Stephanie. I'm not sure. Could be. Yeah, there's a lot of people can be. So then we go to speaking of the Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. we go to the Triple H interview of the week, and we find out that the Hall of Fame this year, the uh, ceremony will be live on the WWE Network in its entirety, which over the last years has been. You know, they cut it down to an hour for USA, mm -hmm. and I think the last year they had like a you could pay and stream it streamed online. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't. I saw the. I think I saw the USA one, but this this year it'll be in its entirety, which I think is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm really I'm excited for the network to launch. We might be seeing more of these full length programs because mm -hmm. we found out that with the new launch of the network, they're looking for programming. Because they need to fill the airtime. Yeah. So, I mean, to launch a network is huge to have something going 24-7. Mm -hmm. So I, I yeah. definitely understand why they're showing the entire award show. Yeah. Because I think it's probably like two or three. Two hours, maybe? Maybe I three? It's, well, it used to like, be longer than that. Back when it... They... Worrying about putting it on television wasn't mm -hmm. the big priority. Mm -hmm. And the guys would just talk. Oh, forever. And they would just talk and mm -hmm. talk and talk. But then it became more of a TV show. And mm -hmm. then it was regimented like Stone Cold... 
got trimmed down on time because everybody went long and then oh. they were doing that part live mm -hmm. and he got cut down. So oh, that sucks. Hopefully it's it's a nice balance now where if they're yeah. going to show it in its entirety, they mm -hmm. get around three hours, give everybody a nice amount of time, they get to say what they want to say. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they have the people coming, you know, the live audience there that come to pay and go to it. So it should at least be at least two, three hours yeah. in length. Especially when you got Warrior and Jake yeah, uh -huh. doing speeches. Yeah. Oh, Those that's guys it. need time. <laughs> I can't wait to see Warriors, oh. Warriors speech. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but let's get to the second match of the night. Uh, Natalia uh, versus Oksana. Uh, Natalia comes out. Uh, they start off in the ring. Oksana smacks her on the butt to get her going, get her attention. There was some before that. <laughs> there was, there was. But we're not talking about that. Are you sure you don't want I think We've you should bring it We've already been in up. the bathroom. Okay, yeah. We just Who else is going to right. cover this? Okay, fine. Who else is going to cover this? This is an exclusive, yes. okay? Yeah. There you was, have to see main event for this. Yes. There was a, a... How old is that kid? Like seven? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, he... He's you know, ahead of the curve, this he kid. He groped Natalia when yeah. she came out of the ring. Like, how... That's really messed up. I was like, wow. She, and she, she didn't even realize. She's like, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And he's like... Cop and a feel, uh -huh. real quick. Yeah, he, he <laughs> grabbed full on. He got denied because she went by the barricade uh, yeah. where mm -hmm. fans are, and mm -hmm. then uh, dad was holding that kid, mm -hmm. and that kid <laughs> went for a grab, got knocked away, and then went right uh -huh. back for it in a full handful. And you can see it. You see main event. Yeah. That kid has it. And then, no, and then he gave a big thumbs up to the camera. Oh, he was thrilled. Did you say that there were pictures online of There was this? like a meme I saw, yeah, earlier oh, that I somebody mean, already like memed it out. So, I think yeah. that's Dolph Ziggler back in time. That's what I think. <laughs> I, I think Dolph Ziggler got a time machine as a kid and then mm -hmm. did that moment and then mm -hmm. came back to the WWE. Maybe he did. We know we know it was you, Dolph. Yeah. Come we on, Dolph. It. Fess up to that. But yeah, it was, it was I don't know, it was kind of crazy. I was like, wow, it's that's crazy. <laughs> like, and I'm surprised they showed, like, I'm surprised nobody else caught that. Yeah, no editor caught you know, it. Yeah, and was just like, let's just cut to this or whatever. Something else. I don't know. Yeah, because they edited it and then aired it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. They, they taped it yesterday, so. They're like, we're going to put yeah. that on. So. That's shocking, actually. But there's the Miz girl, the famously <laughs> yeah. known as the Miz girl, <laughs> and this is the Natalia boy. Natalia <laughs> 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 boy. I Jeez. just, I just, his, he does a big thumbs up to the camera. He's so happy. So. He's so happy, yeah. that kid. Uh, so let's get to the match. So He'll never be happier. <laughs> he probably will, no. It's no, all downhill, that, that's kid. That's the highlight of his it's life. downhill. <laughs> <laughs> that kid is going to induct Lita into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm laughing. <laughs> all right, so back to the match. Yes, Natal Natalia goes right for the sharpshooter at the beginning. Oxana is able to get to the ropes. Uh, we find out that uh, Naomi's eye is still recovering from that knee to the face, knee to the... Yeah, neither face she took. fracture, orbital. Yeah, uh, yeah. I saw the picture. It was it was nasty. That she what, tweeted out. What X-ray or something? No, it was uh, it was something she tweeted out where like it was her. I think it was her left eye, but like it was just all bruised, like the whole eye and underneath was all like bumped up, like at least like a half an inch. Do you think this is gonna affect her vision? I don't know. I mean, I know she. I think she had like a CAT scan and stuff done. So mm -hmm. it may. I mean, it may. I hope it doesn't. That would that would really suck if it wow. does. Yeah. But. Yeah, so she's still recovering, and I think that kind of sucks because they were definitely pushing her to go against AJ at uh, Elimination Chamber. At least it seemed like they were going that way. Mm -hmm. But now that's kind of up in the air, and I hope I hope we get a Divas match at oh, the pay per view. Gee. AJ, uh, keep racking up the one. numbers. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. So uh, the spot I really liked in the match was they both went for a crossbody and just collided with each other. Yeah. Double crossbody. Yeah, that Gabby looked, winced at that one. That yeah. was. <laughs> I mean, because have you ever done a belly flop in the yeah, water? Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. you know how much that hurts. Mm -hmm. Imagine doing that against somebody else. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It's hard. At like full speed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> full force and everything. I feel like. Do you think that was a mistake? No, I mean I think it was like you know they both were trying to counter each other's move and they thought that would be the move to do and mm -hmm. they just both happened to do it at the same time. Collision. So. Because there's a lot of times where guys will go for a clothesline, too, and they'll end up doing... Which yeah. I they don't really do that much. Double clotheslines? Yeah, it happens every like, so often. Yeah. Like, where they that's both a popular Cena, yeah. mm -hmm. Cena moment, you know? Yeah. But I tell you what, the Natalia boy wanted to be right in the middle of that. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he definitely did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they went back to him. He gave a thumbs like, up. Yeah, what a great spot. <laughs> uh, so Natalia hit two suplexes in a row. 
Uh, and then another drop, uh, and then a drop kick to the back of the head for two. Uh, Oksana hit a really nice neck breaker on Natalia. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalia went for a roll up or went for the sharpshooter, but Oksana rolled her up into two. I like that. I like that uh, little set there. Natalia hit the spinning clothesline. Uh, Oksana hit a vicious spine buster. That was a nice move for two. And then Oksana went for her. I don't know what her finisher move. I just called it the sexy leg kick. <laughs> the sexy leg kick. Yeah, because she did her, like, you know, crawl yes, on the kick. ground. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, her cat leg crawl. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And she went to kick Natalia, and Natalia ended up catching her, rolled her over into the sharpshooter for the win. I like the reversal on that. I thought it was a cool way to end the match. And I like that Natalia kept trying for the sharpshooter, trying, wasn't able to get it. Then finally, you know, she outsmarted her and was able to lock it in for the win. Mm hmm. What do you guys think overall of the match? I'm giving this a 4.0 because I liked how it was kind of unpredictable. They both were really strong in this match, and I think it's one of the strongest matches I've seen Oksana in. Yeah. Especially on main event. Um, I The body slam part, I mean, I don't know if that was planned or not planned, but it was cool even though it looked like it hurt. And I couldn't tell for the most part who had the upper hand because of how strong both of them were in the match. And to me, I liked it better because I didn't know who was going to win. It was mm -hmm. kind of like at the edge of your seat. And one of the commentators had even said, you know, Natalia looks like she has the will to succeed. But I was thinking, so does Oksana. These girls mm -hmm. are killing it. So, um, yeah, and she, I mean, she even had a temper in the ring, Oksana. She would, you know, do her little hand slap like she was angry. Yeah, she was getting she, mad at the end because she couldn't get the win. Yeah, mm -hmm. frustrated. and. To me, that was, like, acting at its best. I'm like, damn, girl, you're good. <laughs> so, I don't know. I really liked this match. Gotcha. Yeah. Scott, what would you think? It was good. Um, I always like seeing Diva's match on main event. And mm -hmm. Oksana, I keep saying, has grown on me. She's getting better and better each time in the ring. She's mm -hmm. looking more and more fierce as a competitor. And uh, Natalia is always fun to see. Um, I always find it strange. She kind of plays the underdog. That even in her victory, yeah. she's kind of shocked. It's mm -hmm. like... You're a beast. Yeah. You're right, actually. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. Nightheart's daughter. Mm -hmm. Like I expect you to have the advantage, but mm -hmm. yet she plays that that underdog role, mm -hmm. which is like, oh, it's it's me. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I won. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's kind of Santino esque. Yeah, it's yeah. the shock that she mm -hmm. won. It, like you're bred for it, I thought, yeah. but um, I I dig it. I I like their matches, and I I think Oksana is they're a good pairing. These two, like they're yeah. they're bringing really good matches out of each other. So, and that kid. Let's give it up for that kid, because that made air. Uh, and five stars for that. And it's yeah. not the Attitude Era. No, it's not, no. Uh, so 85 hearts is what I give gotcha. it. Gotcha. I was going to say 85 grabs, but... I, <laughs> I decided to give the ladies their due, and, gotcha. you know, yeah, I mean, the kid had its own. Oksana is definitely... Hashtag Natalia boy. Natalia boy. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get that trending. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, I thought Oksana has definitely been getting better week after week, Uh she definitely has her character, you know, growing and more of a personality. Uh, and Natalia, I I know that, you know, being on Total Divas, she's going to be a face for a while because she's not going to be that. She's almost like that weird, like, motherly figure on the on Total Divas, yeah. I feel. Like, she's so experienced. The, yeah. And, the or just, yeah, the veteran. And just more like she's in charge of everyone. Like, mm -hmm. if something needs to get done, they know they can go to Natalia and she'll do it and not be like, Oh, well, if we give it to so-and-so, they may mess it up. We know she'll do it, and she'll do it right. Right. Which I think is it's a good position to be in because, you know, it's more like, for the, at least her, I think, job security, too, because they trust her enough to get things yeah. done. It's mm -hmm. called respect. That, too. Yeah. Plus, she's in with Stephanie McMahon. They showed on Total Divas. Mm -hmm. She has her phone number on speed dial. <laughs> yeah. And she drunk called her, didn't she? Yeah, she did uh. drunk call her. <laughs> Got in trouble for that. Was it a butt dial or? She no, she. I mean, she was just drunk calling her because she was upset about what not being I'm, chosen for remember. WrestleMania. Maybe? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Something like that, and so she called up Stephanie McMahon while she was drunk at the bar with the other divas, mm -hmm. while they were in New Orleans. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, right. I think it might have yeah. even been Mardi Gras, oh. <laughs> but I don't remember. And so she was, you know, she got in trouble the next day. Duh. Poor Natalia. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, she won the match tonight. So I, yeah, I gave it a four point. 4.25, good match, good showing from both Divas, a good Divas match uh, on on main event this divas week. Divas mm -hmm. killing it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and then we get the Raw recap. Uh, Betty White 
was on Raw. Awesome. Yeah, um, I thought she was really funny. She was really funny. Yeah. She's great. I, I was kind of dreading it. I really mm. thought it was going to be something really bad and hopeful. You were yeah. raving about it the entire like week before. Betty White. <laughs> what? I, it was sarcastic. It was, to my ears. Yeah. it was sarcastic. Oh, I thought it was serious. You can't really tell through Twitter, I guess. <laughs> That's true. Uh, sarcastic to yourself, maybe. Yeah. Who else got that? Yeah, all the ladies on the when I text them, they don't really seem to get the humor. No, but I, I mean, in the past, there's been plenty of special guests that they yeah. make them do really embarrassing things mm -hmm. and really terrible stuff. But Betty White is just able to make whatever it is in gold. Like yeah. I, I did not give her the credit. And putting her with the outlaws is just perfect. Was so much fun. Well, it was a blast to see. In yeah. the screening room, we were talking about how. Betty White is 92, I guess. Yeah. That's what you guys mm -hmm. mentioned. That is insane that she's 92. A, she stars in her own show on TV. <laughs> and now she's on WWE, which is like a high-impact like physical show. <laughs> and she's 92. Like, props to Betty. I want to be you. Where's the Dudley boys at, huh? That's awesome. <laughs> May Young returns. <laughs> That would be all, that. That would never happen. But that would be if that happened. If they the Dudley boys, they took Mae Young and yeah. and pi, uh, power bombed her through a table. Really? Yeah, like years yeah. ago. So yeah, if <laughs> I don't think Betty yeah. White would sign off on that yeah, at all. Like, no. Yeah. But <laughs> no, I'll say but, funny things. But yeah. no. But her with the outlaws are good. The skip backstage. <laughs> mm -hmm. They they put Visine in her tea. I she, just don't understand she switched why. It like, because why because it makes you go to the bathroom. Yeah, but cause. what's the point of that? Why did they oh, want to make her go to the bathroom? Because of her show. She does a show. Her oh, off it was the a rocker, prank. It's a prank show. show that they do on that she does. Mm -hmm. Old people do pranks on young kids. So now, so they, they were trying to prank her, even but she they're pranked old them. Too, whatever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, but how ironic their shirts are. You know, their group is new. What is it? New, new age, age outlaws. Yeah, yeah, new age. No, maybe like old age now. <laughs> oh, <burn. laughs> oh man, take that, Mister <laughs> Ass. And the road dog. How the roadie. ironic. <laughs> but yeah, so Billy Gunn ended up drinking the tea. We see him out there at ringside. His stomach starts hurting, and then he has to run to the back. You're like paparazzi. You were on that. <laughs> I, did, I have a good you picture ready. of him. <laughs> uh -huh. Get him on the run by right in front of us. <laughs> it was good. It was a good picture. But yeah, so and he did that really well. Like he he's did. holding in the back. Yeah. And like, you know, great facial expressions. I love those guys. I love yeah, new, new they're guys. still they're still fun. They're still fun to have around. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so Billy Gunn. I guess he ran to the back, and you know. Maybe we'll see what happens on SmackDown. <laughs> if there's any backstage segment, more, <laughs> you know. That would be some hysterical. Maybe he's still sick. It's probably on the app. All yeah, the follow up is. of what happened. Yeah. <laughs> All of the toilets malfunction. The, the system's down. <laughs> there's a blockage. Oh, in the no. Pipes. <laughs> Poor Billy Gunn. Uh, and then, yeah, we also see on SmackDown this week it's the Usos and the Roads versus the New Age Outlaws <gasps> and Ryback. Can we Ryback, talk about so. that for a second? The match yes. from, well, from when, Raw? Yeah, from Raw. Mm -hmm. How awesome were the Usos? Yeah. That match was incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was that was one of the highlighted the good matches. They sold of the me night. in that match. Yeah. But yeah, we'll get to Raw in a second. Well, well all we can say Raw. for SmackDown, spoiler alert, you should watch that show. Oh, definitely. That's an yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. match. Yes. The Cesaro versus Orton. That, if, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you probably saw who won. But mm -hmm. we'll see. You guys have to watch. And then tune into the after show here yeah. and see their thoughts on it. But yeah, it was a it was an overall really good SmackDown. It's a must see SmackDown. Yeah, most definitely, definitely. Oh, uh, but yeah. So let's get to the last match of the night. Well, last two matches of the night, what? if you want to call that two matches. But yeah. Oh, uh, you're giving it away. <laughs> Teaser. So uh, Biggie, known Langston anymore, just Biggie. As with Cesaro on yeah, SmackDown. Yeah, and Cesaro is not Antonio Cesaro anymore. He's just Cesaro. Got to change that jacket. Yeah. Yeah, what is this gonna say on that? Cesaro can't say big. Big, big says. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But so it was Big E versus Drew McIntyre of Three Man Band. Uh, I, the commentators did say that they have no update on Billy Gunn's condition, so <laughs> I did go. catch that. Uh, so Big E ends up uh, starting the match off. You know, going right after Drew. He ends up. Drew goes for a big boot, and he just grabs him by his leg and just tosses him over the top rope. No. He didn't grab him by his leg. Yeah, they, yeah. No, At the he, beginning? He grabbed him by another area. Oh, no, that, no, that was later in the match. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, that and, like Why did you elbow me? <laughs> why are you like, you know? You know? You know, know what you know, I mean? You know what that feels like. Come on. Don't lie. So... <laughs> <laughs> then Biggie hit a uh, over the head belly to belly, which uh, that reminds me of Kurt Angle, his belly to belly, because mm -hmm. nobody really. Uh, Brian does it mostly to the Shield members, but um, yeah. 
but you know, Biggie doing that is really is an impressive move to do. And the commentators did say yeah, that you're trapped. Yeah. And the commentators did say that Heath Slater was not there because he's mad at 3MB and he's trying to figure out a way to motivate the band. I don't blame him. Drew McIntyre <laughs> is trying to look like John Morrison more and more every day. If he bedazzles his abs, there's a problem with 3MB. <laughs> he's just rocking it up. He's getting that rock rocker lifestyle, you know? Where's the cowboy rock hat? What happened? I don't know. They're, lo they're losing yeah. it. I mean, mm -hmm. Heath Slater, if you go back on your own, it's understandable. <laughs> one man rock band. Yeah. I like that name better than one man band. Yeah, he should start with that. But yeah, and then uh, Drew ends up hit, uh, slapping Big E in the face. It was a really hard slap. I heard it from my seat last night. That's how loud it was. Yeah. It resonated up through the arena to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> As sound does. It does, yeah. yeah. Just for some reason, but it was an extra hard slap you know to the feels, face. Huh? <laughs> of course I do. Maybe not at 92, but you know, now I do. Uh, but then Drew ended up hitting a big boot on Big E. That sounds weird. <laughs> and then he uh, he hit a clothesline off the top rope, which we never really see Drew go up to the you know up to the top rope. Big dude. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then <laughs> after he did hit the clothesline, he did this weird like snarl to the camera, like a it was almost like piratish, like Arr! like <laughs> it was just a random camera shot. I was like, okay, that's a I great idea for a character. Sorry, yeah, pirate. pirate. I feel like we've had to have seen Paul pirates. Virtual. Yeah, that's a, yeah, he was mm -hmm. a pirate. Really? Yep. 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 What happened? <laughs> well, take uh, a guess. <laughs> he quit. Well, he, maybe. I don't, I don't think he did. <laughs> he got fired. Yeah. yeah. But then after the after the clothesline off the top rope, uh, Biggie ended up hitting a big splash. Drew's mouth started bleeding. Uh, or no, his eye. He ended up his eye started bleeding. Not yeah. his mouth. Sorry. It was a brutal Which, night. Which that's the second time Biggie has been in a match with someone, and he busted up. Uh, Roman Reigns like two weeks ago on Raw. Mm -hmm. Now he busted open Drew McIntyre. I think he's got to you know cool it out a little bit. Hey, he's a yeah. physical guy. He is. Yeah, he's a champion for a reason. Exactly. So as he started bleeding, uh, Biggie ended up hitting the big ending for the win, and then we're like, okay, good, Biggie wins, yay, everyone's happy. But we knew something was off because mm -hmm. he didn't take his shirt off. Yeah, he didn't take his straps down on his yeah, on his tights. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Then all you hear is. Your night's not over yet. You messed with one member of 3MB. You messed with us all. And he and it was Tom. Yeah, it was Dan. Yeah, I, I jumped down over the barrier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, then, Tom, what are you doing? You're going to get beat. And I was like, I don't care. It's Big E. He's like, defend I, I, your title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I said, yeah. You insisted. <laughs> uh, but it was actually Jinder, not me. So when well, you guys, he stole all your lines. Yeah, And yeah, then shoved I, you yeah, back I, over the rail. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jinder said, ring the bell. Uh, Jinder got in the ring. Big E hit a huge running clothesline. He hit the big ending, and the match was over. <laughs> that's about how that second match went down. Gender got hindered. He did. He yeah. did. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. That's not mine. <laughs> it isn't? No, that was a good sign from a while ago, but it is good, though. <laughs> Whoever thought of that, you guys are good. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up from uh, this guy. And from that kid, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Natalia boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Natalia boy. So, uh, what did you guys think of the match? Mm. I know, Gabby, you want to talk about your spot? In the match? What do you mean? My you know, <laughs> yeah. that one spot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I guess the second time he, uh, Biggie threw, or, <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he Biggie the... threw Drew McIntyre <laughs> over the ropes. He grabbed him by the sensitive spot <laughs> um, instead of by the leg. And I was actually shocked by that. I don't know if when wrestlers do that, if it's just like hit or miss thing, or if it's like, I really don't like you and I'm going to. F you up. You know what I mean? I think it's a hit or miss thing. I don't think so he wasn't they have to work with it, each other again. It's not it. like the, yeah. I okay. mean, it's not like they're like, you know, purposely going out there to do well, that. I don't know. know because, you know, did you know on Total Divas, um, Natalia got mad, and I don't know if it was at Alicia Fox or somebody for in the match doing something wrong and embarrassing her. Mm. And she like peed her pants. Do you remember that? I didn't see that. I, I heard of it. She yes, like but, freaked out on mm. the girl backstage. <laughs> so I'm sure there are things that go wrong and people make mistakes or slip mm -hmm. ups, hopefully not on purpose. Yeah. And then they get pissed off. Mm -hmm. But we don't see that. No. Pissed on. However, that would be yeah, <laughs> pissed off or pissed on. But it would be cool to kind of see backstage drama where there's actually real raw stuff. Dude, you're grabbing <laughs> my nuts out there. Yeah. Cut it out. Like you made me bleed. Well, I guess my that's what total is gushing. Is for. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, that's what total. Yeah, total divas. Behind is, the scenes. Yeah, we total total, total superstars. superstars. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so um, what'd you guys? What'd you give a rating for for my, both matches? We'll just combine it together because the second one was very. Fast. We're actually considering that a match. 
The second one? Yeah. Bell rang. Okay. Yeah, they rang the bell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the ref did count bell it. Bell. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, for the first one, I'm going to give it a 3.0 because I've seen better matches by Biggie. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give the last one a 4.0 because if Biggie didn't win over gender, it would have been like weird and out of place. It would have been Because he just won upset. his last match. Yeah, yeah. it would have been an upset. So 4.0 for that. Gotcha. Scott, what'd you think? It was a great night of pairings, just mm-hmm. with the Sin Cara, Los Matadores, Wyatt family. Like, great, great pairing. It all just worked really well. Mm-hmm. Oksana and Natalia worked really, really well. I think what's a shame is Big E, I think, versus Heath Slater would have been the best match. Yeah. I think there would have been more uh, Heath playing the coward and running away mm-hmm. and really playing it up to the crowd. And... These other guys, like, it was all right, it was good, but I think Heath is the money guy for a reason, and it would have just made for the better match overall. Mm-hmm. So it was good. I gave it 41 biggies. Gotcha. Yeah, I gave it a 3.0. Uh, when we were talking last when we went to uh, SmackDown last night, my buddy Frankie that was there, he said that was the dark match before Raw on Monday. Right. Big E versus Drew McIntyre. So I'm guessing they were, you know, starting it off, at least getting, you know, seeing how that match went. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's a dark match, if it goes good. They throw it on TV, which I thought overall it was a good match. It, yeah, it, it showcased Drew a lot better than I thought it was going to. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be more of a squash with of Big E, uh, just you know squashing him. But it, I think it showed. I think you know Drew definitely has that. It like part of the if factor. He's if they push him in the right way or at least give him the good a good angle or a good character mm-hmm. to go with. I think he could definitely get over and because he was over before he was like. He's a former Intercontinental Champion. He still looks like Brian Kendrick on stilts to me. Mm, kind of, yeah. You guys. <laughs> That's weird to me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I like I like him. I mean... I think he's good. Yes, yeah. I agree. Yeah. But it's, you know, mm. Heath, Heath is the money guy. Yeah, yeah. So we had no Heath tonight, but hey, and, it's okay. And not spoiler alert, mm. teaser alert for SmackDown mm. that, you know, you always want to have the Intercontinental Championship defended. Yes. Mm-hmm. The number one contender is determined. Yeah, on SmackDown. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. And a really cool match. Yeah, really good. Really, really cool good match. match. Uh, but yeah, so let's get to Raw. Let's get back to Monday Night mm-hmm. Raw. So we get there, get to the arena, get our seats. Awesome show, awesome matches. What was your favorite match of the night? That's hard. Um, the Wyatts had a pretty good match. Mm-hmm. Um, I always wanted, I mean, I know everyone thinks it's overrated, but the John Cena, Randy Orton thing was nice for me because I've never seen them live, mm-hmm. so it was cool for me. It was actually a pretty good match. Yeah, you know, it was. Th- that's controversial to the fans, <laughs> but, but it's, I it's liked it. It's the main it. event for yeah. a reason. I mean, yeah. of course, that's what people are going to go see, so yeah. nothing wrong with that. And, um... Also, the very end, when the show was done, there was an additional match that yeah. I thought was incredible, should have been on TV. Mm. Yeah, it was Batista, Daniel Bryan, John Cena versus the Wyatts. Yeah. It was, was fun. That was really cool. It was fun to watch. What was your favorite uh, match or whatever segment um, for the night? <laughs> boy, I got so much wrestling running through the brain. Uh, it was the Wyatts versus... Uh, Cody, Goldust, and Rey Mysterio. Oh, yeah, it was that match. Mm. That the match. ending of the match... That was the best sister Abigail, period. Like that was, was so awesome. fast out yeah. of nowhere, and and like I said, watching good. watching Bray and Luke in their element and just owning that ring mm-hmm. and having everything going on, that was that was an exceptional match to yeah. see live. Um, that was my favorite match for me. I was thrilled to see Orton and Cena live because I've seen those guys so many times, wrestling separately and doing mm-hmm. other stuff. But in all the events I've been to, they've, I've never seen them wrestle together. Yeah, so it was cool to see, mm-hmm. but that didn't. That didn't get me like the other match. Gotcha. Did. Yeah, I, th- I mean, I thought my favorite match was the uh, Christian and Sheamus versus Real Americans. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a really good match. Uh, and Cesaro, the crowd was loving Cesaro that night. So. That was good. Yeah, it was fun. We got the sw- <gasps> we saw the swing, so we got to see like all the good spots from him. Of course, Jack Swagger blew it in the end, and you know. Well, remember when they also <laughs> were challenging? Was it the Wyatts against the Real Americans? Remember they kept. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. After the yeah. match, yeah, after. Uh, yeah, what a yeah. cop out. Oh, the shield. Oh no, it was the shield. Yeah, shield and wire. The shield, and the shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a cop out. Mm. I was kind of sad because I was like, yes, they're gonna fight, I know. and there's tension. Yeah. But then freaking, I didn't think Bray was a pussy. What happened? He He's just backed out. A R T I E. Yeah, exactly. He's a what? S M A R T I E. Oh. 
Because <laughs> he's, he's not going to waste, you know, he's not going to waste his soldiers on this mm -hmm. match now. They had already fought. Fought. They've already been in battle. They're yeah. well, a little mm -hmm. wounded, you know. Yeah. Plus, you have like they, two matches already. Yeah, they came night. out like yeah. they came out three times on Raw, <laughs> and yeah. it so. didn't get boring. No. Once. Mm. And another cool thing that might not you might not be able to figure out when watching on TV is when the Wyatts come out, the whole crowd claps along with the song. Yeah, that was fun. They're that was cool. quiet and cool and calm, mm. and like everybody's watching and everybody's drawn to them, and they just clap along. Mm. It's so much fun. Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. And I, I mean, I think we saw everybody we wanted to see on Raw. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree Fandango. With that. Yeah, Fandango came. Yeah, Summer Rae. Fandango. Santino. Yeah. <laughs> Emma was there, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Emma yeah. came mm -hmm. out again. So there was, a, I mean, we saw everything that we want. I mean, that I wanted to see. And all the divas against each other. Yeah, the divas mm -hmm. match was that good. That was cool. AJ was there. AJ was there. I yep. have to say something about this. Okay. So I really like AJ and her character. Mm. But. Why is it that she starts to wrestle and then backs out of the ring and leaves everybody else to do the dirty work? Exactly. Why does El Torito <laughs> interfere in matches? But you know exactly. what? Exactly. Okay, so I get that she's a little shorter. Uh, she's actually my height, <laughs> five two. But okay, why is she acting like El Torito and standing on the sidelines? Because she wants to. She doesn't need. She's already the champ. What yeah. does she have to prove? I want to see her fight. Like a, a real fighter is gonna. Back up her girls, you know? Well, that's what Tamina's there for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to back her exactly. up. Yeah, Tamina doesn't even that. have a song. No, she Bow. doesn't. No. We have to get that. She yeah. has to compose some lyrics for herself. Yeah. <laughs> that explains her story. <laughs> but yeah, so overall, it was an awesome night. Oh, really Awesome fun. couple days. Mm -hmm. SummerSlam will be in Los Angeles this year. They announced We're it, all yep. going. So, yeah, yeah, I'm and so excited. I can't wait. Next week. We have a guest, special guest, calling in. Mm -hmm. He is color commentator Josh Matthews. He's going to be calling in and talking to us next week here on Main Event. So if you guys have questions, send it to us. Oh, and also, we weren't allowed to bring signs because of where we were sitting. Good so job, yeah. We, yeah. We, we, I did like what, you're, what you guys wrote for suggestions, but we were not allowed to bring signs. And how yeah. about this? We'll tell you who won. The person who said, show me why they call you Viper, Randy Orton. Yes, exactly. Or at least in my book. <laughs> at least in my book. But hey, so where can they find Come you guys? On. You guys can find me at Gabrielle underscore Loren on Twitter and on Instagram at Gabby Lo87. Gotcha. Scott, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Curtain Jerks and listen to my comedy wrestling podcast that features sketches, interviews, and impressions on comedypodcastnetwork.com and on iTunes. Search for Curtain Jerks. Gotcha. And you can find me on Twitter at Tom the Com. No Supernatural, no Tomorrow People this week, couple weeks. But next week, Josh Matthews, send your questions. We'll uh, get an answer, and hopefully we'll find out some more stuff about the WWE Network. Whoa. Coming out in less than two weeks. See you guys next week. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.